everybody welcome back to my channel it is me chameleon girl Gina and today I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a real simple recipe for a green chili which I just love this recipe my sister finally showed it to me and it's like it's just so simple but yet it's delicious it's comforting um, you can choose to make it real spicy if you want, or you can choose to do it mild. So today I'm going to be doing a mild green chili for my family, just because I have my elderly mother, then I have smaller children, and I can't really hang with the hot like that. So with that being said, I'm going to show you guys what you need. So I'm going to turn my stove to about medium-high heat. And the first thing I'll do is take about two pounds of a pork that is cut into chunks and now you could usually find it like cut up and ready to go in chunks like bite-sized pieces that are smaller bites than this but this is what I'm working with today and so I'm going to take and use that and then also I'm going to ha use some mild this brand is Bueno uh, Green Chilies, and they're in the frozen section. There's different brands, like Hatch is really one that I really like, but that's the brand I'm using today. You will also need olive oil or uh, vegetable oil, and right now I'm going to just pour some olive oil coating the bottom of my pan. So about, uh, about less than one fourth we're gonna say less than one fourth just coat the bottom of your pan like so and I'm gonna scooch you guys up a little bit so at this time you're just letting that heat up meanwhile while letting that heat up you're going to add some meat tenderizer if you choose to um, to the chill the meat and you're gonna do at least a tablespoon so you could do, you know, like a tablespoon and a half or somewhere in there. Or three teaspoons, actually. Three teaspoons of meat tenderizer. I don't know why my camera won't focus for me. Okay. Now you're just going to kind of give that a little mix up there. So now what you will do is add your two pounds of meat into the pot. Use the pot of your choice, your favorite pot, whatever you like as far. As far as your seasonings go at this point, you will add, you will add a little bit of, I like Lowry, so we're gonna say that we'll add a little Lowry. So we're gonna go with about, let's see here. We're gonna add a, about one and a half teaspoons of Lowry. And you're going to add one teaspoon of garlic salt. And I'm going to, at this point, add three bouillon cubes to it. And just let it go ahead and brown down for you. Get your seasonings on there. Now at this point you want to add one teaspoon of black pepper and this is one of those again my recipes are pretty much to taste so if you like more pepper than that or something then just add a little more pepper to it just go ahead and let that get browned up so you're still at about a medium high heat At this point I'm going to add one teaspoon of onion powder and I don't know if I'm focusing in real good for some reason but we yeah, we're gonna add one teaspoon of onion powder Okay. 
And I just kind of cover it and I'm going down to about five. So medium heat. And then you'll go ahead and every couple of minutes, you'll just remove your lid and you'll check to make sure that your mint, at this point, it should be about done. We'll give it one more minute after we kind of stir it around there. I think this is the easiest recipe I've ever shared with you guys so far. One more minute. All of your mint it is pretty nice and done. There for you. And it'll start to thicken. Like it'll almost make somewhat of a gravy-ish type of a deal going on there. Just based on the seasonings and then the meat and the oil that you got in there. So at this point, you want to kind of start, like, you want to cut through your meat with the spatula, just to cut it down the size if you got big, bigger pieces. And, uh, yeah, let's see. Just kind of go right on through to make sure that they are bite sized you could cut it when it's raw, but I don't really want to deal with that. So I have the butcher cut up a roast. So now your meat is good to go. Appears. So at this point, you're just kind of cutting through any pieces that look larger than you would want to be a bite size. And this will all just get really tender and just fall apart in your mouth. And I think that's why I like this recipe. I never realized it was so simple to make and easy to do. But yeah, it's just that simple. We're going to go ahead and a total cooking time as far as browning your meat. And then on to the next step, you're going to go about 12 minutes. All you will need to do is now take your green chili of your choice, and I use uh, about a pound, so 12 ounces. Anywhere from 8 to 12 ounces of green chili goes in at this point. You don't pour off of anything. You just open up your green chili, and mine didn't defrost like the whole day or anything, but it is, so it's going to be looking like this. It's like a little liquid in, as you guys may be able to see. And you'll just pour that whole thing of mild or whatever your choice of green chili is into your pan. And then at this point, you just want to walk away. So you're just going to let this simmer down for... 30 minutes so you're gonna at this point go ahead and turn down your mixture and actually you're gonna add a fourth bouillon cube right on in there you're gonna cover it no water no added water at this point and you will just let it simmer away on about medium low so I turn mine to like three if that's how your stove works you know like low one two three so I'm on three here all right and I'll be right back now at this time we'll remove the lid from off of our green chili and what we're going to do is take one and a half cups of water and actually before we remove the lid we're going to add to it one tablespoon, a little bit over, about a tablespoon of flour, and then you're going to begin to whisk that in together, making sure that there are no lumps, bumps, and bruises in there. So it'll be smooth, I'm saying, so you can use a whisker or 
if you like to thicken with um, starch, you could do that as well. It's a little starch and water. But at this time, you're going to go ahead and take the lid off of your green chili. And you're going to add in your flour and water mixture. The entire one and a half cups. You want to give it a stir. Then, when it comes up to boil again, you're going to just add in your uh, potatoes. And this is optional. Potatoes don't have to go in there, but I prefer it because it makes it more like hearty, the dish itself. So then I'm going to add to mine, I'm going to add three cans of white potatoes. And I will at that point taste it and let it simmer for about maybe three minutes so we're going to do that now so the amount of time that by the way i let it simmer for when i did the meat and added the green chilies i let it simmer for 20 minutes and so now what i'm going to do is add three cans of potatoes sliced potatoes do them whole or don't do them at all but this just kind of like i said it makes it more hearty when you do add the potatoes in there and you don't have to use canned potatoes you can actually use sliced potato if you want potatoes Some people just will not understand it until you taste it then you will understand and then I'm going to go in with just a little bit more pepper adding very minimal spice and a half a teaspoon of Lowry's and a little bit of garlic salt just a dot you know one third teaspoon so and then your green chili is all set and ready to munch on and it is good you guys see that nice meaty potato -y. it's just so filling and so I just make sure that that bubbles a little bit after it bubbles slightly, and then we're going to go ahead and we will, at that point, taste it. All right, guys, so we're good to go. The pork green chili is done. And so at this point, it is time to have someone taste test it. And I think tonight it's going to be my daughter. It's like one of her favorite things in the world. So anyway, it's going to be my oldest daughter, Lily. And see, this is the consistency. You don't want it really thick like an overboard gravy or anything like that. You want it, and I like to serve it with a tortilla. It just sets it off. And there's how it looks as we just kind of serve it up. Just try to keep your bowl nice and neat, little sauce on there. Mmm. So we're going to have the taste tester come in and give it a taste. Now we're going to let Aaliyah taste test it. Mm. Is it good? You like it? Mm-hmm. Where's your spice here? A little bit. Okay. Good. Mm. Well, good. Yeah. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me today for Pork Green Chili. So in the meantime, don't forget to like, comment, share, and most importantly, subscribe my channel. God bless.